Okay, so a couple more prediction questions related around Big Bass Bash. Sure. What weight of a fish do you think it will take to win the Big Bass Bash? I'm going to say 683. Okay. Which is a little less than what it has been, but you got a little different scenario this year with a lot of water in the system in both lakes. Um, but that gum, I mean, you look at Facebook, I know I, I've scrolled through it and I saw today, today, mm. two guys holding fish that were over eight pounds. My goodness. So, um, but this is absolutely the best time of the year to see those big fish. And they were both really, really good tournament guys who, who, um, who aren't kidding. They went out and, you know, they know what they're doing. Um, they didn't tell me exactly what they caught them on, but I got to believe in the lower end, they were probably fishing a jig or mm -hmm. maybe an A-rig. There's still a little bit of A-rig mm -hmm. going on on. I'm fairly certain because I talked with the Terrells a couple weeks ago. I'm trying to remember exactly what they told me, but I'm pretty certain that they have not eclipsed the eight pound mark in a big bass bash. No, they have, they haven't, you know, and uh, so hey, that's just to see one that big. I mean, gosh, I've, I've got just a handful of eight pounders, you know, and I even live on a lake that has those kind of, mm -hmm. you know, it's, that's the beauty of the of the big bass bash it is a it's a scenario where well your one in two thousand chance of winning is it, there is a little bit of a lottery thought on it because it is just one fish and heck one year didn't a 16 year old win it yeah oh my yeah. god you tell people that and they're just like are you kidding me no no i'm not kidding that mm -hmm. kind of stuff only happens in america folks yeah come on I mean, that's the biggest bass tournament in the world, guys. Mm -hmm. There isn't one that's bigger. There isn't one that pays out more. Just isn't. Mm -hmm. um, and it is really geared for the weekender, the amateur guys who who don't make money from the fishing industry. And that's something that they, they have limits on how much money you can earn and be in this or be a full-time guide or how much you paid in the way of entrance fee. If mm -hmm. you paid out for an entrance fee to get in a tournament you're not able to fish in that tournament and i like that i like that idea a because well the majority of us don't get out and fish as much as mm -hmm. i you know or even guys that fish a lot more than i do so sure. we shouldn't be allowed in it and it should just be amateurs uh because i mean it's it's the total cinderella story uh where Somebody just comes out of the blue and catches that 683 or seven pounder. Mm -hmm. it's seven pounder a couple times, but usually that's the, the heavy six is usually where you really, you're going to win your hourly, you're going to win a thousand dollars for your hourly deal. And then, you know, that, that's how that big bass deal works. You weigh your fish in and they pay out hourly and they might pay 20 or 30 places per hour. So you might have a four and three quarter pound fish that actually gets you paid in one mm -hmm. of the hours. Now it's not going to land you in one of the top three places that pays the big bucks, but I know guys that catch four to five pounders and catch two or three of them in a weekend and come home with a pocket full of money. Mm -hmm. I mean, a, come home with 1500 or $2,000 from getting in the money three or four times. So it's an interesting scenario and it happens only in the spring and the fall. It's just not, you know, it's, it's a, it's a big time. It really brings in a lot of income for that area. And I know there's some people that don't like it because it brings in so many people, but maybe those people should think about the people that have motel rooms to rent and meals to serve to get so that they can pay for their homes and cars. Right. right. But I really think the Terrells do a great thing for the fishing world by putting this on. And they are the ones that really got this thing as big as it is. So mm -hmm. my hat's off to them for what they do for our industry. And I'm going to fish one of their events this weekend, as a matter of fact, down at Lake of the Ozarks. So mm -hmm. it's an Anglers in Action event. 
which is their team circuit. It's not a big Bass Bash event, but nevertheless, uh, it's a it's a good time, and the sticks will be out. I promise you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hopefully, oh. we catch them again.